aerodynamicist and I love playing the flute. This is one of the instruments that produces sound purely aerodynamically. There is nothing vibrates that produces sound other than air itself. So let's take a look at how the flute actually produces sound. In the 1800s, the inventor of the modern flute, Bohem, wrote a book that demonstrated a lot of understanding on how a flute produces sound. In the 1960s and 70s, we have achieved a much higher level of mathematical understanding on how the geometry of the flute and the finger holes is going to influence the frequency of the sound produced. If you want to understand more, I highly recommend you to read the excellent website by the University of New South Wales in Australia. It explains a lot about flute acoustics. Despite all this knowledge, there is a still a gap in the understanding of the nonlinear mechanisms of the sound produced by the flute, especially what determines the loudness of the sound, and also what determines the relative magnitude of the various harmonics produced by the flute. To gain more understanding about this aspect, today we are going to be looking at a three-dimensional flute simulation done by an undergraduate, uh, actually freshman at MIT, Jody, in Flow360. Now that's the sound produced by the simulation. Let's look slowly on what is the sound producing mechanism. In the simulation, you can see that initially a jet comes out and produces an impulse sound that radiates uh, from the mouth of the jet. You can see that there is some initial instability of the jet that gets amplified because of the pressure oscillation on the left. So when the pressure inside the flute near the mouth is low, it sucks the jet into the flute. And when the pressure near the mouth inside the flute is high, it pushes the jet out of the flute. When the jet blows into the flute, the mass in the jet is blown into the flute. And that creates a pressure source, transmits down into the flute and reflects back. When the jet blows out of the flute, there is no such pressure source. So this unsteady pressure source coupled with the, the reflection of the pressure wave at the opening end of the flute, uh, essentially it's a self-coupled oscillator. First to perform the simulation, Julie has to produce a jet, an air jet that blows against the lip of the flute. She used an actuator disc in Flow360. So the actuator disc is actually used to simulate the propellers for airplanes, right? So uh, it produces a jet just like the jet coming out of a propeller. It's a, it's a round jet. And uh, uh, to make it closer to the jet uh, coming out of the lip of a mouth, Julie put two porous media regions. So basically porous media regions are regions uh, in the volume that uh, blocks, had some blockage of air movement. And uh, she set the porous media to be very non-porous. So there is a lot of resistance to the air. It, it essentially blocks the upper portion and lower portion of the round jet. So the jet coming out of the porous medium is very flat. And that's kind of uh, uh, similar to the jet blown out of her mouth. Hope you enjoyed the simulation. See you next time.